So you've heard about how AI is going to take over the world and, like the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs, lead to humanity's extinction. But all this doomsday talk is distracting us from the very real harms AI systems are already perpetrating today. Tech companies are collecting data about our bodies, often without our consent, and feeding it into AI systems that can allegedly learn from the data to identify emotions or find cures for disease. But that's not the end of the story. Let's dig a little deeper to uncover how this technology is far from neutral. The people who build AI systems do so based on ableist, patriarchal, racist, homophobic, transphobic, and colonial presuppositions about what constitutes a normal body or normal behavior. But people come in all colors, shapes, and sizes. By encoding the normal body into AI technologies, its builders reinforce unequal treatment of anyone who doesn't conform to this standard pushing marginalized communities further to the margins. In 2016, tech company Affectiva worked with Google, MIT, and Amazon Web Services to develop Brain Power System, a piece of emotion recognition software the company said was supposed to help autistic people read emotions and recognize if someone is feeling anxious, angry, or sad. What could possibly go wrong? You do not see autistic people anywhere saying, please create solutions for us to read other people's emotions better. We are saying, please develop disability services, employment and acceptance. Please give us education, work and human dignity. Not please devise a gadget for us to tell us that a person is smiling or frowning. By assuming that autistic people need technology to read emotions, in other words, to treat their autism, the creators of this technology are reinforcing the ableist idea that autistic people are not normal and that they, rather than society, need fixing. It's not just AI that's built this way. There's a whole industry of technology for commodifying our bodies, from iris scanning to voice recognition, setting harmful, oppressive norms. Why should tech companies get to decide what a normal body is? Technology should be built with room for everyone's different bodies, rather than expecting people to fit into an oppressive, one-size-fits-all standard. So how do we do that in practice? Companies must build technologies starting from the needs of affected people, incorporating their feedback at every stage of development. Policymakers need to listen to and consider the impact on marginalized groups when setting the rules that govern how these technologies are used. Because there is no such thing as a normal body. <laughs>